Welcome to Acids and Bases Part 6. In this part, we're going to look at pH calculations. All right, so this will build off our understanding of Kw. All right, so remember that when we have a high hydronium concentration, we describe the solution as acidic. And when we have a low hydronium ion concentration, I guess we put that there, then that solution would be basic. And when the hydronium concentration is in balance with the hydroxide, it's neutral. But as we look at these concentrations, they're very clunky. We have to use scientific notation, and they're, they're a bit messy or awkward. So what we like to do in chemistry is we take the hydrogen ion concentration, and we're going to take the negative log. So the pH means, where, it, where you see the word P, that means we take the negative log, and then the H part represents the hydronium ion concentration. And chemists like to take the, the negative log of all kinds of things. So anytime you see the P in front of a symbol, you'll know that somebody has taken the negative log. Now, algebraically, we can rewrite this and um, using our understanding of logarithms, and we could calculate the hydronium ion concentration as 10 to the minus pH, right, or the anti-log. So if you need help with logarithms, um, see a tutor or your professor, if it's me, um, during office hours, all right? So these are our two main fundamental calculations. If we know the hydronium ion concentration, we can take the negative log and calculate the pH. Or vice versa, if we've measured the pH with an electrode or something, we can determine the hydronium ion concentration. So these are two calculations and formulas that you want to memorize. So the important thing to think about here, though, is it is a log scale. So when we have a low pH, that's going to be acidic. And when we have a high pH, that's basic. Right? And then this would be a low pH. All right? And then just out of general interest, so anything around, remember, anything around pH 7, we would say is in the neutral range. So anything with a pH below 7 is considered acidic. And anything with a pH above 7, we would consider basic. Right? And then, of course, pH at 7 is neutral. All right? So um, if you're interested in any of these um, common materials, there, there's some information for you. But right, we're just going for the main trend there. So now let's go to the next page and see what practice um, using these formulas. All righty. So here are the two equations that you want to memorize. The pH is the negative log of the hydrogen ion or remember the hydronium ion concentration. So remember that you're not always going to be reading information from people that are careful. So in water, we should be writing hydronium, but there are no hydronium cops out there to enforce it, right? So the point here is we use this formula, right? If we're given H3O plus, right? we can calculate pH. And then vice versa, we can, as we um, shown on the previous page, we could rearrange this. And then the power here is, right, given the pH, we can calculate these concentrations. OK. So let's practice that. Um, pancreatic fluid has 
has a hydronium concentration of 10 to the minus 8 molar. What is the pH? Right? So the pH is the negative log of 10 to the minus 8 molar. So you would plug into your calculator 10 to the minus 8, take the log, and reverse the sign. And you should be able to do this really in your head. And so we would say that the pH is 8. And we recognize that 8 is greater than 7. So the pancreatic fluid is basic, slightly basic. Our blood ideally has a pH of 7.4. So now in this example, we were given the pH and asked to calculate the hydronium ion concentration. So H3O plus is going to be 10 to the minus pH, which will be 10 to the minus 7.4. So here you can use your caret symbol on your calculator. And the calculator will tell you um, that we would get 4 times 10 to the minus 8 molar H plus. Okay. So sig figs, I'll talk a little bit about sig figs on the next page. But for right now, let's just focus on when to use the de Varius equations. So now let's bring this all together. Originally, we learned about Kw. And then we, here we have the, we, and now we've learned about pH. And we can take the negative log of anything. So the pOH would simply be the negative log of the hydroxide concentration. So not a huge emphasis for our course, but um, just so to flesh out your knowledge. So now what we could do is we could take the negative log of the entire Kw expression. And when we do that, the resulting equation would be that the pH plus the pOH equals 14. And so we have, um, so these would be our three, the, where I've starred, these would be our three main equations that it will be helpful to know and use. And then the fourth one, of course, then would be that the hydrogen ion concentration equals 10 to the minus pH. So for acid-base chemistry, these would be the four equations that you would find helpful. And this one you should just by analogy. OK, let's put these equations to work now on the next page. All right, so I've, the formulas are all re-summarized right here. These are the ones that you really want to be comfortable with. Let's talk briefly about sig figs. Not a huge emphasis for our class, but for those of you with a curious mind. If the pH is, has two digits to the right, so right here, right, two to the right, then when we report the hydrogen ion concentration, we would have one digit to the right. And if you're really curious about this, please come see me in office hours. But it's kind of, it kind of makes people's head hurt, and we have more important things to learn. All right? So then by analogy, if our pH has less sig figs, let's say we only have one to the right, all right? So then what would we report? We would simply report one digit, zero to the right. Okay, so there's a little brief explanation of sig figs. If you want to know more, please see me in office hours. Okay, so now what you'd like to do is you want to take some time to complete this table. So it would be a good time to stop the video and perform the calculations and then compare answers with me. And in the meantime, right, I'll work them out for you. So. H3O plus, hydronium and hydroxide, right? So this is going to use Kw. So if we use the Kw, 
we will see that the hydronium concentration is going to be 10 to the minus 4 molar. Once we have the hydronium concentration, we can determine the pH. The pH is the negative log of the hydronium concentration. And so, based off having two digits here, we would report as 4.00. And the pH is less than 7, so this would be an, ex an acidic environment. Okay, for this next example, we have the pH. So this time, right, we will use that the hydronium ion concentration is 10 to the minus pH. That will, I guess I should, right? So this information gives us that. So the pH we can calculate here. And so we will get 1.0 times 10 to the minus 9 molar for the hydronium concentration. And once we have that, then we can use the KW. So my arrows were a little funky here, right? So from the pH, we get the hydronium. From the hydronium, we can get the hydroxide. And then with this one, we already know the pH is greater than 7. Basic. Okay. So when you get to your bio classes, they don't let you use calculators, but they tend to use coefficients of 1. There's one professor I know that will sometimes use a coefficient of 5. So let's do an example of that to help you. All righty. So here we have the hydronium concentration. So from here we can go directly to the hydroxide concentration and to the pH. Right? So to get the hydroxide concentration, we're going to use Kw. So 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 5.0 times 10 to the minus 3. All right. So when we have the 1 divided by 5, then we could think of this, right, as 10 times minus 13 divided by 5 times 10 to the minus 3. Yeah, I don't like that though. Okay. We're just going to lose our calculator. I shouldn't make things up when I'm on camera. All right. So you do this calculation, and the result that you're going to get for the hydroxide concentration is 2.0 times 10 to the minus 12. All right. And now... For, um, we take this value and we can plug it straight in for the pH, right? We take the pH is the negative log of 5 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. And so we would get our pH to be 2.30. And that's less than 7. And so that's acidic. Okay. So there you go. We have um, practice working with all of the most important um, formulas in acid-base chemistry. So now would be a great time to um, grab some homework problems and reinforce your understanding.